the kids in my cabin are Keith, Ryan, uh, Reggie, uh, Jordan, DeAndre, Gabe, Tyler, and Z. And together, uh, we have uh, over 50 years of camp experience here. I think um, of all the years, probably the most surprising year was uh, last year. It, that was a very interesting year because we didn't have on the, all the big bells and whistles that, that we did at the old camp. And it wasn't two hours into it and I realized it's not about what we're doing. It's about spending that time together with their buddies. They see them once a year for a week and it's just a bonding thing and it, they just, it's awesome to watch for sure. They could care less what we're doing as long as we're together spending time with our buds. I've been coming to camp for three years now. My favorite activity was fishing because we got to just relax and chill out with everyone and get to know each other a little bit more. With this cabin, I feel a lot more welcome as one of the guys because they kind of just welcomed me and Keith in and we just kind of joined the ranks as one of them. I do believe that it is a lot easier to talk to people here at camp than anywhere else because if I were like at school trying to explain my situation, people wouldn't look at me the same as people do here. The one thing about camp to me is that we're here to somewhat teach them some life lessons along the way, right? So leadership skills. Reggie is one of the campers that we haven't always had and he's joined us, but they take Reggie on as this little brother and they foster him and they watch him and they mentor him and they just, so watching that develop over the years and watching Reggie in particular grow with the help of his brothers to grow into where he's at now. It's just been phenomenal to see. So since this is a closing night and we got some 15 year olds, um, I think it's pretty emotional. And uh, some of the kids I know want to do teen camp next year. From my understanding, it's for 16 and 17 year olds and they're excited for that. Today is our last day, the last day of camp. If there was one piece of advice I would have for you, it would be to remember this year and cherish each other's company because trust me, it will not last long. I don't know about you, but sometimes I ask myself if the friends I have at camp are more special than the ones I have at home. In my opinion, the answer is yes. The reason why is because we only have one week and in that one week we accomplish more with these friends than we did with our friends we see every day. My friends here are like family, and my friends accept me for who I am. And the biggest thing about these friends is this right here. They accept our transplants. We all have that in common here. Emotions are going to be high. It is. They're, they're a tight-knit bunch of guys, and me included, and I know I'm going to have a hard time with it. They understand it's their last year, but we're also trying to promote other opportunities that they can have to uh, come back. And my goal has always been that not, do they not only come here, but they come back eventually as a counselor. I'd be honored to work with them as a counselor someday in the future.